Well, we are going to do a drop spindle today. Um, I went in trying to find my drop spindle so I could show you how to make Plarn and I can't find one. And I've made, I don't know, half a dozen or more. So we are going to make a Navajo spindle today. got um, what you're gonna need is a whirl this would be this is going to be the whirl it's an old plate it's plastic so you can drill through it that's important you're going to need a file because you need to file on the edge to make a crevice or a channel actually which is better that channel is going to be where you bring your horn through. So I'm making the channel right now. Okay, as with everything, you want to make sure that you know you're going to be safe. So you really should always have safety glasses, which I'm going to be using my handy dandy glasses here so I can see. But my husband already has a drill in here, so we're going to chuck it out. This is the chuck. It just goes right on in there and hopefully my hands will allow me to unhook it be loosen now I've got a uh, clamp right here I'm just gonna set this on the clamp make sure that when it goes down it's not going to hit any sides of the clamp and check to see if it's on center it sure is. Put my glasses on and here we go. Alrighty then. So now we have a hole. Now it's time to join okay. the two. So what I ended up doing is I did take down the rod a little bit and I'm opening it just a little bit with a circular file and let's see how that works. So and I want the rim to be down, the dish side to be down. That way it's got a smoother route on the top. And let's see how she does. And there she goes. See, that's on tight enough. I may not have to do anything more. And there you have now it. Now you have a Navajo spindle. So, what do we do with this nice little spindle? We make yarn or plarn. And what I'm going to show you is how to do plarn. Isn't that beautiful? It just looks so nice. Okay. Okay. So, See, one of the other things which I forgot to tell you is that the tip part, this right here, is what's going to help create the twist. You need that flicking along your fiber or your plarn, your plastic bag, to create that twist or to make that twist a little bit better. So, kind of hard to do with it flat. I need it to move smoothly along that tip. What do I need? A handy dandy old fashioned hand cranked pencil tartner. You adjust it to the proper size, you stick that bugger in there, and you just go for it. Okay, so I'm happy to report that I have made so much plarn that I don't have a whole lot of bags left. So, oh, let's go ahead and put this up. So I, I have two that I've found, and what you're going to want to do is straighten them out. Best that you can, like so. And then you're going to fold them. And then you're going to fold them again. You're going to cut the handles off because you don't need those. So let's cut that off like ta -da! And then you're going to cut the bottom off. And now you're going to cut these into about an inch strips. And I do that by measuring from the thumb. So you just cut like that. 
and keep your little strippies. But you do this all the way up. So we're just gonna go to there. And now you should have little loops. So we're gonna take one loop and insert it in the other loop, like so, and then grab the end of that loop and bring it. So now we got one piece, like so. And we're gonna do that again. And you just keep doing it until you have a chain of these together. You wanna try and make it so they're even as even as you can get it. And I always drag my hand along the knot to minimize that knot, okay? So now we've got our handy dandy little Navajo spindle. I'm going to tie a knot to make a loop, which the loop is already there. I'm just making that so it'll hold it a little tighter to the bottom. Tie the knot, and that slips onto here, and then I've got my little groove right there, and it'll go up over that, and then it depends on how you want to turn it. A lot of people will take it, and they push forward, and then they pull back. The back is where this turn's supposed to happen. Um, I always basically just use my fingers to keep turning it. Now, we're coming up on the first knot, which is right here. I'm gonna super turn and then pull. I'm put my fingers across it. And I'm mainly doing that because of when I go to crochet it, or whatever, I want it a smaller hook. I don't want it to go through. Now I'm gonna undo it all, and I'm going to roll it with tension back up on itself until it relaxes. Because right now, it's gonna turn in on itself, and we don't want that. It's normal, you know you're working it right if you're doing it that way. So there we go, and then turn again. turning nice and tight because I'm getting towards that bottom right here. Relax it. And relax it. There. And you pull it out and you put it back on. Pull it up and then go again. And there you got it, Plarn. It's actually really, really strong. I'm coming through and I'm just adding a little more tension onto it and now I'm gonna roll it up. Now you just keep doing this until um, you have enough to do a project. And uh, you can do it all at once, like some women do, or you can um, do it as you get your bags. Make that part of your routine of putting your bags away. You slice them up, you chain them together, and you make yarn. And then by you know the end of a month, you should have enough Unless you have a big family, you could have enough really soon, but uh, have enough to do a project with it. So you can, funnily, you know, funny enough, you can make, you know, uh, reusable shopping bags with them because they're stronger. 
the tensile strength of these is a lot stronger than the tensile, tensile strength of the uh, untwisted bag. So you can make it a lot stronger. I also use it to make uh, baskets, you know, or to bind the baskets with. But anything you can do with yarn or string, you can do with these. You can even make it lace if you'd like. Anyway, so there's your how to make plarn. If anything wasn't, uh, well, and how to make your own Navajo spindle. <laughs> but if you still have any questions, just leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own Navajo spindle and making your own plarn. Um, if you want to, I should say, if you'd like to take your single plarn and make it double ply, it's simple. You just uh, get two pieces together. Um, and I actually put them on my fan, one on each side, so they're on the equal sides. Turn the fan on and it twists them all together. Uh, that might be another one that I might do later. But if you like this video or you have any questions or comments, please do that below. But don't forget, push the like button, subscribe, and share. And if you'd like to see more of me, you can find me at www.thebohogranny.com or Facebook forward slash the Boho Granny or follow me on Twitter, which is at the Boho Granny. You can also snail mail me or the Boho Baby at the Boho Granny or the Boho Baby care of Alyssa Diamante, uh, P.O. Box 24, Edwards, Mississippi 39066. And remember, if you send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, we will write you back. I'd like to thank you again, and I hope to see you on the road.